Yeah, Premier Christy Clark is going to face the music here at the legislature on June the 22nd. That's the day that she's chosen to come back, recall the House, and basically uh, have to test whether her government has the votes to maintain the confidence of the legislature. It's not going to mean that she falls right away. There are kind of old arcane rules on how this place works. And most likely it takes the better part of the following week, so the week of June the 26th, maybe even to the 29th, before we get an actual vote on non-confidence on the Liberal government. And at that point, uh, the government could fall and uh, we'd be into uh, constitutional matters here over who will be the next government, likely the NDP and NDP leader John Horgan. So NDP leader John Horgan has already gone to government house with Green leader Andrew Weaver and they have presented a written copy of their accord to share power, which gives them 44 votes in the legislature, 44 seats compared to the Liberals, 43 seats. And so the hope is that the lieutenant governor is going to decide to allow them, allow John Horgan the opportunity to govern. She might decide to call an election as well. That's a possibility. But most likely she'll allow John Horgan the opportunity to govern. He said he'll take a couple weeks to do a transition, and then he's agreed within one month of the cabinet he would bring the House back. So now we're looking at maybe August uh, before we see a Horgan administration throne speech, and the NDP would have to do a budget by the uh, end of September as well, which is when we run out of spending authority for the provincial government. So between June and August and September, things are going to get very busy very fast here at the legislature.